Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with episode number 25 of the Hardcore Iron Man series, a series in which, of course, just trying to stay alive. That's the main goal, doing a pretty good job at it so far, I've only ring a life like once or twice, and I'm at 18, 28 total levels, so we'll keep on pushing. Last episode, spoiler, I mean, it's right there in my inventory, but we got an imbued heart, so that was uh, a very good achievement, kind of an RNG-based achievement. I also got a Fury as well, and 87 Slayer, so... Lots of gains, and I'm ready to go use this imbued heart in the newfound Slayer level at some Kraken. So that's going to be the goal. I think I'm going to get uh, Kraken on to some Slayer here, and <laughs> damn, it. can't even can't even keep a straight face. All right, but anyways, yes, yeah, so the bank is at like 125 mil, so doing really really good. I think the main goal is going to be the Trident, and then from there, might be able to mess around at a little bit of Barrows. That's going to be the first piece of Zora eventually, but I'm going to still try to get the Diaries for Zora before we get there. So Trident's a big grind. Other things that we do on the side, kind of just for fun, and account improvements. Currently on a Necreals task in the catacombs, doing a bit of this. I also have like a lot of totems that I could use. I think I'm going to do it this time around because I have like 16 or 17 built up. Um, but I just got a hit points level while I was down here. Always looking for more totems if I can. Try for that pet later and probably open up a lot of hard clues. In addition to that, I did get 79 mining a second ago. Um, I was doing some gem mining because I just kind of got all of my jewelry together. I have like 100 dual rings plus and then the same goes for like games necklaces dig site teleports and i also ended up getting like five more skills necklaces the skills necklaces are really nice for the farming guild telly so been stocking up on a lot of things jewelry and potential future skates okc task number 270 done just got my next one and it's going to be fire giants but I have about a thousand Slayer points, and last episode I was kind of unlocking a bunch of things, and I think I missed something. For my task extensions, I really didn't finish uh, everything that I wanted to do, because I didn't have enough points. But now, the most important one that I have to start with is the Kraken one. Uh, extending that task will be very, very nice. And then I'll also extend both of the Bursting tasks, Neck Reels, and Dust Devils. I haven't done too much Bursting uh, early on, just because I, I kind of want to push all my melees. And really, that's about it. It's a bit safer, too. But overall, I think I am probably good with those three extensions. Not much else I want to extend right now, but maybe in the future. And maybe if I get a lot more points, I can get a helmet at some point. That would be nice. I've never gotten the purple helmet, and I do have the claw in the bank. But for now, we'll keep hunting the Kraken task. Alrighty, so that is just what we're looking for. 186 cave Kraken. I extended the task, got all that. So a, a nice hefty task right there where, of course, I have a, a chance at a Triton. So we'll see how it goes. And get on hunting. If I get it... Probably start doing a little bit of barrows, maybe find some other places to make it useful, but yeah, let's get hunting. Alrighty, well, that is uh, that's an easy game right there. I'm just getting spoon-fed drops everywhere I go. Um, about 60, 70 kills into the task. Go ahead and get my uncharged trident, pick that up before anything happens on over there, before I DC or anything, and uh, I guess we'll check the log and see what I was at in total. Um, do, 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 do. I'm missing the ears right there. Yeah, 71. Ah, two off, two off. But I'm going to charge this up. Now, I guess I'll finish my task off at the regular Kraken and just see if I get anything on over there, maybe a tentacle or something. And then from there, I'll go do some barrows. Maybe I can get a tank top or some carols or arums or just, I'm kind of missing a lot of pieces. I only have like 160 barrows, KC. So that's the plan. I got to go charge this though and get all the stuff for it. All right. I think I have everything I need to charge it. Maybe. How many charges? 2,500. There we go. Easy as that. Got a lot more charges stacked if we need it. And uh, looking good. I mean, goodness. All right. Just like that. Trident, imbued heart. And we're back at it. Maybe I'll get anything from Kraken. I don't know. Oh my gosh. There we go. 83 farming. Just getting spoon fed drops left and right. Bottomless compost bucket. Let's go. Oh my. I'm actually more pumped about that than I think I was about anything else so far. Just because I've been here for like two months trying to get this thing. And finally, finally. I, I guess I'll keep killing the Hesporia. I mean, the pet chance is nice. I also need kind of add a seed. So I think it makes sense to keep killing it as long as I have the seeds. But. Oh my gosh, that is so great. I have a ton of altar compost that I get to throw in here. Now I can finally start doing my allotments. I have a ton of allotment seeds. I just, it's going to make my farm run so nice. Oh my goodness. 
Thank you, game. Man, the drops have been coming in, but that is beautiful. So compost bucket, and then I have 3.1k right there that I'm just going to throw on in. And I also have a ton in the in the leprechaun, but I don't think I can pull them all out at once. Um, but I'll throw them all in here, 3, 1, 6, 8, and I should get double. All compost contained within is, okay, that's fine. I'm not going to take it out. Um, but yeah, 6.3K uses, so double the uses, which is just very beautiful. And on top of that, I don't have to worry about, you know, pulling some out of this, tool leprechaun, putting them back in, dropping buckets. It's just all right there. So um, bank notes. Oh, okay. See, all I had to do is right click. And there we go. Got a little bit more out of there. 642 actually. And almost up to 8k total charges. So won't have to do that for a while. And oh, wait, I actually need those buckets for sand. But yeah, so I was so happy to have gotten that. Kind of glossed by the 83 farming. Also pretty cool. I can now grow spirit trees and also I can obtain two magic roots for my magic trees. So that's pretty useful stuff. Obviously the most useful is the bucket and I'm going to get going with it. I'm pumped. Well, that just happened mid-kill, but up to 85 magic over here on the Kraken task. I have uh, uh, about to reach 100 KC here in total, and the heart's been pretty nice overall. No r real close calls here, although I have gotten to like 40 HP or so. I guess the uh, the max hit's near 30, so... Doing A-OK -okay on the first kind of bossing session, and we'll see how it keeps on going here. As far as what 85 mage unlocks me, it's nothing too much, but the imbued heart's kind of thrown off all of the level up stuff, because at this point I can now cast up to like level 94 spells, so uh, I don't know. I mean, honestly, most of my mage uh, base needs will be uh, doable at this point, so I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, just like that, you know, you just, you, you do the boss, you get the drop, that's how it all works, crack and tentacle, can throw this on my, uh, my nice little whip now. I have a few extra of those from last episode. I said before you had to use 10 tentacles on a whip. That's not true. You only have to use one. I was being silly. I was thinking the trident. Um, but I'll get some nice use after this. Won't be using too much of that uh, tentacle whip. I'll be saving that. But uh, keep it in the bank. Easy game. Well, just got myself a, uh, a Xerix talisman. Usually I get these from the, the smaller lizard men whenever I'm doing my Shazy in favor. But this time went a little different route about it. And Got the teleport now, so I can load this up with Lizardman Fangs and kind of teleport around Karend, which is going to be very useful for just, you know, getting around, because the place is massive with very little mobility, so I am uh, happy to have that, and uh, got like 80 more on task, so good to go. Alright, well, um, I just got an Aram's Robe Top. I I'm honestly not very certain. I think that could be the second piece. I don't know if I, I think I have the skirt, so I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it for the top and bottom of Arabs. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Already treat me well. I mean, goodness. Oh my. <laughs> oh, looking so good. So spooned, man. Arabs top and bottom and trident. God, what a, what a combo. All right. Well, try to keep it going. More barrels to come. We'll see if I get anything else. It's all too useful. Hanging out, doing a little bit of thieving. Needed to stack up on some Raynars because I've been doing a lot of PVM lately. So I'll keep uh, seeing how far I can get in regards to those. I have about 40 right now and a bunch of seed packs that I have to open. And that is 91 thieving. I'll keep pushing towards 92. I don't know if I'll hit it. Um, but, you know, it's kind of a controversial thing recently. You know, boosting with a with a main account on an iron. Is this is this considered cheating, you know? Pinning the master farm. You're pretty meta. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Pretty sus. This dude's using two accounts for his Iron Man. What a scrub. You'll never catch me boosting any bosses or anything, but, I mean, by golly, this Master Farmer running around is no fun. So I just trap him away and get Thieving instead. A little easier that way. And also, forgot to mention, um, kind of low on all these stats, because I'm using Bruise, I know, I know. Maybe not the best people. <laughs> place to use them but man i just keep being asked to go bank again i like the long inventories but anyways i did get a defense level as well up to 89 got that on the slayer task along with 85 range so nice little round level there with range gonna try to push up my defense to 90 here soon so i'll keep working on that that'll get us all above 90 for our melee so Looking pretty good, and uh, 100k off of 88 Slayer. On one of my hourly runs, and I am one birdhouse off of 74 Hunter, which is a very nice level because it will unlock me, most importantly, the magic birdhouse trap, so I can actually use these now and, you know, get the boosted XP, get the boosted nest. Also can catch ninja implings, but that's about it. Um, I'll look forward to pushing my Hunter probably at some point to try out some herbivore, but I'm not exactly...
exactly sure when that'll be. Uh, for now, though, I'll enjoy the little extra XP I get off of these runs, and, uh, yeah, I just keep chugging along with them. Honestly, with the bottomless compost bucket and with my skills necklaces I've kind of been stocking up, it's made my runs just so much quicker. So I'm so excited to be doing them now. And the magic birdhouses, I'm sure, are going to help as well. All right. Well, easy as that. I guess, I mean, that's kind of like the last real uh, piece I needed, I, I guess. Uh, just a tank chest plate. So I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. We're going to do a little bit more just because I kind of want to test out my luck here a bit. But I am happy to have that. Um, I used to wear this one back in the day, like this was my favorite one, so I'm, I'm pretty happy to have that. Um, <laughs> just, I don't know, it looks goofy as hell now that I look at it now, like, I don't know, that big plate right there, but I'll take it, a barrow's top, now I can AFK a little safer um, while I'm getting my Slayer gains, and yeah, Imbued Heart's been very, very nice at Barrow's, so I've been enjoying that a lot. <coughs> Uh, I tried to drink a little water before the clip. It didn't go well. Anyways, up to 88 Slayer right there. Don't unlock anything with it, but I am a level closer to getting up to 93 for the ultimate uh, kind of goal that I'm going for, which is the Western Elite Diary. So that's the main one. And another level that I had laying around since last episode, that is 82 Herb Lore. Can now make super weapon poisons without having to boost. With a plus four boost from a pie though, I can get up to 86 and really I'm basically one level away from easily being able to boost up to anti-venom, which is along the same lines of the Western Elite Diary. So pretty pumped up for that. As far as the bank in total, still making good work in that regard up to 136 mil. The stats are looking nice, 1839 total. Reward points from Neve are getting stacked up, closing in on 1k. Might be able to get myself a helm unlock next episode. I have that Dark Claw, so I might get the purple one. In addition to that, I have like 20, uh, close to 20 totems that I can use next episode, so I'm pretty excited for that. Hopefully you guys are too. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to tell me, feel free to let me know down below in a comment. And on top of that, if you guys want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to hit that subscribe. Also, we'll be streaming after this on Twitch. Feel free to check out down below. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, peace. Uh, uh. <laughs> Re.